fool I'm married to got a new riding lawnmower. I had a tattoo of a little man on a riding lawnmower put right above my pubic hair. You know, my silver pubes. <laughs> I shaved off a little strip to make it look like it just started mowing. <laughs> I put a little weed eater on the other side, just keep the hair out of the crack. <laughs> we got married and went off on our honeymoon. I can remember the first night just like it was yesterday. First thing fool said, honey, am I the first person you ever went to bed with? I said, well, hell, you might have been. I've always thought you looked a little familiar. I bought me a nightgown with fur around the bottom just so I could keep my neck warm. <laughs> While I was getting into my gown, Fool was pulling off his clothes and he pulled off his shoes and socks first. I said, Fool, that's the worst looking toe I've ever seen. What happened to your toe? Well, when I was a little kid, I had the toe Leo and it messed up my toe. I said, you mean you had polio? He said, no, I had the tolio and it messed up my toe. <laughs> he pulled off his pants and I said, well, just what happened to your knee? Measles. <laughs> measles, my fat ass. Did you have the measles? No, I had the measles and it messed up my knee. And then he pulled off his shorts and I said, well, whoop to do you had the small cocks too. <laughs> I took one look and said, this won't take long. <laughs> Did it. <laughs> Ladies, y'all know how these men are. You first get married, you can do no wrong. Yeah. After you've been married a little while, they'll complain of every damn thing in the world. Oh, Fool's no exception. First thing he complained about was my personal appearance. He said, look at you, you're looking like a big fat slob. So as he scabbed over a little bit, I let him go back to work. <laughs> It was almost Christmas. The postman knocked on this lady's door. And she was a little petite sport model with blonde hair. You know, like that when they went to the bathroom. <laughs> she was wearing a little slinky gown. She signed for a package and the post, got the postman by the hand and said, come on in, I'm going to cook you some breakfast. He said, I can't do that. He said, I've got to go. She said, no, you have to. It's really important. She dragged him in there, cooked him some ham and eggs and biscuit, and he got up and he said, Lady, I gotta, she said, no, you can't go. You have to come upstairs and let me make love to you. He said, I can't do that. She said, you have to, it's real important. He got him upstairs, got the clothes off and had sex, and he got up and said, I have got to go. She said, no, hold on, there's just one more thing. Here's a dollar. <laughs> he said, I can't take that dollar. He said, I don't know what this is all about. I just come here to deliver a package. You done cooked me breakfast and had sex with me, now you wanna give me a dollar? She said, yeah, yesterday I said to my husband, it's almost Christmas, what am I gonna do about the postman? He said, fuck the postman, give him a dollar. <laughs> she said, now that breakfast, that was my idea. <laughs>